You're listening to The Peach Pit. I'm here with Christian Fredrickson, who's a well-known guitar player for a few different bands, but his latest project is with a band called Vulcan, spelt with a K. They just put out an album called Tech Natura, which is very awesome. I just played it last week for you guys. You all have to check it out. Christian, welcome to The Peach Pit. Thank you very much. Uh, how's it going? Yeah, it's going great, I think. It's hot in Sweden. Hot and sunny. I thought really hard about the first question I wanted to ask you, and this is a, a bit of a involved one. So uh, what is your favorite Super Nintendo game? Uh, oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> I, I guess I'll have to say uh, Super Mario World. Yeah? Yeah. What, what do you like about that one? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just because <laughs> I played it so much when I was a kid. You know, good memories. Just what have you been listening to lately? L- lately, it's kind of... I'm always trying to find new music all the time. Like smaller smaller bands, you know, uh, uh, just using the Spotify algorithms, you know, to, to find not that's like, the kind of the Gloria today, right? Is that the yeah. internet. So we have this tool to be able to find these bands. Yeah, so. exactly. And also through YouTube and like finding bands on Instagram and stuff through different hashtags and stuff i like i like sitting sit and you know search for new bands that no one has ever heard before you know <laughs> it's yeah it's hard to say i'm listening to a lot always so it's uh, but it's That's very good. much prog prog stuff and uh, <laughs> like psychedelic rock and stuff like that how do you remember falling in love with music? Whoa. Uh, I don't know. I guess we had like instruments at home. And, you know, my father had a guitar and we had like a piano and he had an old drum set. And I just picked up stuff and played on it. And just found that I liked li- like this, you know, uh, to just play. So was guitar your first instrument? No, I think it actually was drums. Wow. I I really started with in the basement at home, making my parents crazy, you know. <laughs> uh, Lots of challenges with being the drummer. You always have to, either everybody has to come to your house or you have to haul all that stuff wherever you go. Yeah. Uh, so why do you think you eventually kind of moved over, migrated towards the guitar? I don't know. Maybe uh, because I uh, like started listening to more heavy metal, Iron Maiden and Black Sabbath, you know, and it felt natural to like i wanted to play the riffs you know like so it was the guitar it's the 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 guitar is a very central piece you know they they play the like the riff is like the the heart <laughs> so i guess that's why i moved to to play guitar instead so were those some of your early influences in heavy music? Was it like Iron Maiden, Black Sabbath, or yeah, I guess Led Zeppelin. But uh, I always have like two two lines, <laughs> or, or how I should put it, like my heavy, heavy metal, like metal uh, part of me, and like the pop. Uh, other things part of me you know like uh, but i dressed like a metal maniac when i was a kid very much and like you know band t-shirts and jeans but i could (laughs) could listen to like elton john without telling anyone (laughs) (laughs) there's nothing wrong with that right no now i think now I, i listen to everything and i'm not ashamed of it you know 
But when I was 15, it was different, of course. Definitely, right. Yeah. We need to start talking about Vulcan. Uh, yeah. The band, after their second album, they went through a bit of a band reformation, and uh, you and Oscar joined yes. the band. Yes. Uh, so, what was that? How did that all come out for you, and what was it like? It was, uh, I was playing bass in a band uh, called Orb Designer, and uh, we needed a new drummer, and the other guys knew Jimmy the vocalist of Vulcan, because um, he played the little drums. So he joined Orb Designer, and I got to know Jimmy. And he said that uh, the guitarist of Vulcan has left, and he, he knew that I was a guitarist, so he asked me. And I, uh, I was a fan of Vulcan already. I loved their music. Uh, the first album, Mask of Air, I've listened to it like a hundred times. <laughs> so uh, I said, yeah, of course. And then the bass player also left like a week later or something. Uh, and I said, yeah, man, I have a friend called Oscar. He can play the bass. Uh, we, we, we've been playing like since we were teenagers in different bands and stuff. So, yeah, that's about that's about it. I think. Mm -hmm. So please uh, forgive me for butchering the pronunciation of the band. This I had oh. no idea. So, oh, it's uh, okay. It's okay. <laughs> vul Vulcan. Vul yeah, if it's like the Swedish word, you know, volcano. Uh, volcano. The Swedish word for volcano, Vulcan. Ah, no, it's so a, it's all right. It's okay. <laughs> So uh, coming into this album with the band, uh, what was it like approaching the whole writing process? Yeah, we like uh, jammed a lot. And uh, first of all, me and Oscar had to learn the old songs, of course. And then we got to come in, you know, to the like get, get into the sound and the kind of style that they had already. And then we right. could like jam and try to write new stuff and i wrote a lot uh, a lot of small you know things that we rehearsed and jammed in the in the rehearsal space and then then they just turned into songs eventually and it like yeah it was a very fun fun process interesting and it felt new and uh, for me, at, at least, um, like a new, a new era or, or something, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. How how did you guys uh, uh, usually seem to work? Did you send a lot of stuff like over the internet to each other, or did you like to get together in a room and like kind of jam? Uh, I'm I'm sitting a lot in my home studio and writing stuff, you know, just small ideas, and I upload them into our dropbox folder and uh, the guys just listen to it and say this is good this is bad this is good blah 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 and then we like jam you know on it and maybe i maybe I, some songs i wrote from start to end and then we just changed a few things maybe and then it was finished uh, redemption simulation this is one of these i think I just wrote the whole song. Uh, wow. But like um, Bewildering Conception of Truth, like I had this little guitar riff, this little part, and we just jammed and, you know, we just keep on building the song and then then it was, was finished. <laughs> so it's kind of a mix of those two, I think. If you were to describe the album Technatura to a fan of Vul Vulcan, I'm trying to pronounce it mm, properly. Vulcan. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to describe it to a fan of the band, what would you say? Uh, <clears throat> maybe it's like it's got it got the 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 Vulcan sound, but I think it's a little heavier, maybe. And 
the part uh, the parts that are heavy are more heavy and the but overall i think it's it got like the the vulcan uh, can't find the word you know the vibe yeah yeah kind of vibe yeah maybe vibe the vulcan vibe but a little heavier maybe I, I think everyone can expect you guys to evolve being artists and everything like that. Right. So yeah, it, it, that's what it kind of just seems like to me. Uh, some of the songs on the album are in Swedish. Uh, is this yeah. a first for the band? Yes. It's what, what was, what was the decision behind that? It was Jimmy who had tried to, he had written a song in Swedish. And he he felt very good about it. It was like it felt natural in a way. I think like uh, he could express himself differently because when you write in English, if it's yeah. not your native tongue, you know it's it's easy to hide behind you know cliches and stuff. I guess. I don't write m- lyrics, so I don't know really, but I guess it was felt better. And then we we were happy about the result and we thought that, well, we can make a few more songs in Swedish. It sounds good. No one's ever done like this strange prog music in Swedish, I think, that sounds like this. So it felt like a wise decision, I think. Why do you think there isn't so many bands? Like, why? Why? Uh, I guess what I should say is, why do you think so many bands always uh, neglect their native tongue and just always want to stick to English? I mean, obviously, the the first answer that would come to mind was be market appeal, commercialism, and everything like that. Mm-hmm. But then we see examples over that doesn't it flips on its head. Like Ramstein, for I don't think yeah. Ramstein would be nearly as popular as they are if they always sang in English, right? People oh. go there because they like it because it's this German thing and they're yeah. into that, right? So I don't get why there's always been a stigma against it, especially in this day and age. Yeah, I don't know if because Rammstein, you know, as the, as you said, they like the German language is like be like the biggest part of their sound you know they right how they pronounce the words and how the words sounds with the music i guess it's the same with swedish because it for for you i guess it sounds like very exotic or something i i guess uh, mm-hmm. because you can't obviously understand <laughs> what we're singing but uh, i don't know maybe maybe people i think people are afraid that they're not gonna like make it in outside of their country if they're singing in their native tongue i guess maybe it's time to shatter that mold maybe it's time yeah. that people stop thinking that way i think because uh, did you listen to the latest opeth album in cauda uh, yeah yeah they did like the swedish version and the english version right yeah exactly perfect perfect example right yeah because then you can like choose that's uh, i think it was an excellent choice to make two versions of it it uh, uh, would have been a huge task good for them <laughs> yeah exactly what other hobbies do you got outside of music uh i like to cook uh watch TV series, play Super Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of cooking are you into? Uh, all kinds, you know. Yeah. I just like being in the kitchen, making food and listening to music. I just like it. I'm a just an amateur, you know, but I, I like it. I think it's fun. Great. <laughs> I like it. Uh, one thing I'm, I really love about you is, I mean, and obviously following you on Instagram is you like finding tones. You're a bit of a tone yeah. hunter. Uh, yeah, yeah, a bit. Yeah. When you find a tone, do you actually get a, like a satisfaction, like feeling like, yes, that's it. That's it exactly. You know, mm-hmm. I have it dialed in perfect. Or is it always like on the horizon? 
oh, I don't I don't know. <laughs> May I just maybe I'm not that uh, uh how should I say it? Uh I just if I if it feels good then it is good, I guess. And I just play. I don't think as much as you know about so it's like you're letting the gut do the work. Yeah, I feeling. think. Is there any advice that you would give to uh, an aspiring artist, someone who's just trying to chase their dreams and you know get their foot in the door as as uh, so many of us are? What would you say to someone like that? Just do what feels natural. And just write a lot of music. I think if it if it is music that you want to <laughs> to do, of course, but. Uh, just do it and do it a lot. I think that's the best uh, advice I can give. I think you guys. This is Christian Fredrickson from the band Vulcan. Their album Technatura. Go out, check it out. Christian, thanks for taking time to talk to me and take care of yourself. Thank you. Take care of you too. <laughs> <laughs> Bye now. Bye now. <laughs>